Okay, this is the starting point. I will rush through the water and comes in here and goes then in the green pipe. I don't know if you see that on the video so well. And it goes down here and then it comes back up here. But I will show you first the pump. It goes down here, it's approximately two meters, so this will equal around about seven, six to seven foot. So it goes down here, the green line, where all the pump lines go down here as well. But mine goes here, and then it goes down to this point and then up to this just to show you the height difference so that should be about close to five foot now a little bit more than one and a half meter and then goes down here and then I have my ram pump here hidden behind the wall so I will, will show you that it works actually perfectly fine when I do it, do open the uh, first, I don't know if you see that, with the first, the first one and then there's the second one down there. So I have a little hole just to sprinkle out some water. So when I open it, it will close, so I, I do have enough pressure, I assume, and it also builds up pressure. I don't know if you hear it well. Is the clicking going on? But I have to open it manually, so it somehow gets locked with water. And the pressure here in the pressure tube, I use a 2 liter bottle. It's, well, I don't know how much. It's probably half a gallon, a little bit more. And it builds up pressure as well. And when I close it, it should also pump some water here. But, as I, as I said, it does not open itself. So when I, let me just take the camera here, sorry for shaking and stuff. So when I close this valve here, it opens again, and when I close it up, and uh, when I open it up, the water comes, rushes through, wastewater comes out, and it closes. And that builds up quite some pressure here in here. So, very nice, I try to take it up to show you maybe what parts I used here. So I used about an inch to drive the water, an inch tube to drive the water in there. And then it uh, goes in here, that's about half an inch, and this here is three quarter of an inch. Maybe that's the problem that I switched the sizes, I don't know. But as I showed you, it closes very nicely and then pumps through the next one-way valve. And when I close it, yeah, I close with one hand, it's very, not very nice operating. So when I open and close this here manually, so this valve is closed, outgoing water. It also builds up very nice pressure in in the in my pressure tank. So I don't know why it does not open itself up again. That's my problem. I don't get this negative drive. And when I open the valve here, then the water will get pumped up. So, water goes up here and again back up to the point where I just showed it previously. 
So my problem is, it seems I have enough pressure from the water coming down, but as I said, the valve, how you call it, does not open itself back up, so I don't get this negative pressure which lets open the valve up. So just to show you, when I do it manually, I get some water up here, which is very nice. This is probably well, this is half a liter. So just by clicking it ten times, I get probably uh, 300 milliliters, which is very nice. And this is also already been higher here than where it started, probably yeah, half a meter, maybe a little bit less, 30, 30, 40 centimeters. So I get the water higher, everything works fine, I just don't get the valve to self-working. So I'm, I would be really gracious if somebody could give me a tip from the ramp pump expert and then I bring this wonderful technique here to Dubrovnik. This is Testeno in Croatia. Okay, thanks a lot for your replies. Bye-bye.